Okay, so I don't like starting things, just like I don't like ending things. So I'm just gonna start and say, I'm showing my set list. There's 19 of them, I think, if I counted right. So it's gonna take some time and this video is gonna be long and no one's gonna watch, but that's okay. Um, I'm more doing this for me than for other people. I just wanna talk about my set list. All right, first of all, check, like check out this thick stack. Like, that's thick, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be going in order from the first one I got to the last one I got, uh, or more recent, or whatever you wanna go, however you wanna say. So, the very first one that I got was Papa Roach. It was my first time seeing them, and it's signed because it came with the VIP. Uh, that was also my first time ever meeting a band, which is exciting. Uh, this was in 2017. This uh, concert was really good. I got Barricade for the first time. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, Barricade is amazing. Like, forever and always, I will want Barricade. But yeah, they're really cool. This is really cool and awesome first set list. My next one is Ask Alexandria. It was when they toured with Black Bell Brides in 2018. And someone came from behind the stage and had a couple extras uh, printed off probably and they were like handing them out to people and I got one of them so that's uh, also why it looks really nice <laughs> and not totally jank because most of the time like this one right here the set lists are very crinkled and taped and torn occasionally this one's also asking Alexandria. It's the same tour, but a different show because I wanted to get a Black Veil Brides VIP, but the one in my town sold out. So I just traveled to somewhere else and went to this one. But the girl that was next to me on the barricade, she was amazing. She was great. Uh, when I wanted to get merch, she saved my spot to let me get merch. And she didn't even know me. And then when Ask Alexandria was on and she caught the set list, I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you, you got the set list. And she was like, do you want it? And I was like, oh my God, yes, please. And so she gave me the set list and that's how I got this one. So the next one is one of my favorite concerts and also one of my favorite set lists that I have. It's for System of a Down. Uh, they don't really tour much because they don't have any new music so it's really hard to see them and i wanted to see them for so long and in um october 2018 i think they went on like a west coast tour where it was like five shows and uh i almost didn't even get this set list like it was like in my hand and someone was trying to reach from under and like take it from me so that's why it's all crinkled because like i like did this and like crunched it in my hand so it was mine you know like i was already touching it don't take this from my hand <laughs> but uh it worked out it got really taped to itself and i'm surprised it didn't get ripped when i had to take it apart but it worked out thankfully it's really cool though like look how many songs they did like that's that's a thick amount of songs so my next one is water parks this was when they opened for one okay rock uh, I happened to catch it when it was like being thrown off the stage and I actually like met Austin after the show and I think that was the same show that I met him too because uh, I got VIP but uh, we were both waiting for an uber <laughs> and that's how I like came across and I was like hey Austin I like your hair because that was when he dyed his hair red like while the opening act was on stage he dyed his hair red and then he came on stage with red hair and during the VIP his hair was like a faded like pink. So I said I liked his hair and he was like thank you and I was like look I got the set list and he was like oh my god I'm so happy for you but uh I mean he, you know he didn't say those exact words he's probably like that's cool or whatever but I uh I wanted to have him sign and I didn't even think to ask him because you know I wasn't expecting to see him while I was getting an uber but uh I should have asked. He probably didn't have like a pen or anything and I didn't because most venues are like, no, you can't bring that in. So now I just like hide it. I'll like put it like the the like waistband of my pants. I'll like put it in between my pants and me. <laughs> so that way I can hide the Sharpie and come in. Cause I'm not trying to vandalize you. I just wanted in case I made a band after, you know, but whatever. Um, so uh, I also didn't get a picture with him 
before uh, we left in our, I think I might have gotten my Uber first and I left, but I wish I would have. Usually when I meet a band at a show, like for VIP, I don't take a picture with them after the show if I meet them after, just because I feel like that's a lot, you know? Like I literally already got a picture with you today. I don't need to like make you take another picture with me or something. So I didn't, but I wish I would have because then I would have had a picture with him in his red hair and he doesn't have red hair anymore. <laughs> My next one is From Ashes to New. This is when they were opening for Falling in Reverse uh, during the episode three tour, I think. I have a, yeah, I have a poster over there from the show. But um, I got the set list and two of the members were at their merch booth after, so I got them to sign it. And uh, their set was, like, they were pretty good. Uh, that was my first time ever seeing them, and I have, I think I only have like one album of theirs, like, I wanted to make sure I was into all the other opening bands before I went to the show, just because I really liked the music, like, when I just, like, heard snippets from those bands, but I didn't know their music as well, just because, you know, I didn't start listening to them until I was like, okay, I should start listening to them before this, um, but I did like them, I would see them again. Especially if they were like opening for a band I liked also. Then I would definitely be like, hell yeah. Because then it's a lineup with multiple bands that I like. That's always the best. <laughs> you know? Uh, so my next one is Addy K. Howe. I have a few of these. Uh, but this, was, this was the first one. Uh, it was during their Salt Lake City show. I got them to sign it too because they came out after the show. That was really cool. They were super, super cool to talk to. They were really nice. Uh, they're really cool dudes. Um... So the next one I have is a uh, half of a set list. Um, half. <laughs> uh, the there. I think this was like on the side of the stage, sitting on some box thing that like holds stage stuff. And one of the stage guys that was taking stuff off the stage saw this. And he was like, "Oh, a set list," and he placed it in front of me and a few other people. And me and this one girl like grabbed it at the same time and I ended up like accidentally ripping it in half. So she got the bottom half and I got the top half. <laughs> and you know what, I'm fine with it. I got the half that says Annie K. Hal. And she got half of it too. And um, Dallin was there after the show. I don't know if she went. I don't remember, like there's not usually very many people after. So she probably didn't, but uh, I did. I, I didn't have him sign it though because I thought it would be weird because it's only half of a set list and I didn't want him to think that I like ripped it from someone or something, you know? So I just didn't. <laughs> um, my next one is also Addy K. Howe because I saw, I went to their Salt Lake City show and then a week later, or around a week later, I went to two shows after that that were like back to back and um, Actually, at the one with the half set list, I had gotten his guitar pick and I had Dallin sign it. And he actually remembered me. Like, he was like, you seem familiar. I was like, I was at the Salt Lake City show last week. He was like, oh yeah, I remember you. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> but at this show, he just straight, like, he saw me. He was like, oh, hey, you. And I was like, hey. <laughs> and he remembered my name too. And he said he's not good at remembering names. So I was expecting him not to because he literally told me he's not good at it. But he did. And that was nice. Um... I also talked to Ryan multiple times, like, you know, he never let on that he remembered me or said anything about remembering me, and I even, I made the same exact comment saying, I like your jacket, and he, he, he told me the same story both times too, so I, I feel like he didn't remember me, but I'll come back to that later. Uh, oh, I also had both of them sign this one too, as you can see. My next one, I actually don't listen to her really, but she opened for Ali and AJ, Jenna Rose. It was for their sanctuary tour. And yeah, it says the, the location and the date and stuff. So uh, I really like it though. I really like her format and how she actually like has a sad face and like telling herself like what to talk about each time. Like I feel like I would do that if I was someone who performed and had set lists. But I want to try to get into her because I did like her music when she was performing on stage. My next one is Megan Dia. Uh, this was at Warp Tour, uh, the 25th anniversary in New Jersey. So it was on the beach. And this 
crazy storm happened and they made us get off of the beach for like an hour and they paused the war tour basically. They didn't like skip any sets or anything. They just had it postponed for an hour and their set was literally the one I was going to when we were taken off the beach. So I, I got to the stage after they let us back onto the beach and I was waiting there and I was at barricade and they were like pushing a bunch of water off of the stage because it, um, you know, got really wet from the water from the rain and this set list was shoved off the stage and so the security guy that was standing there I was like hey can you like give me that piece of paper because they're not gonna want it it's a soaked set list on the ground not even on the stage and he looked at me like why do you want this but he gave it to me anyway and so I draped it on to the the barricade to let it dry so I didn't like mess it up too much and it did get a little torn you can see there's like some tears here and there but it it's holding its own. It works. It's a little dirty, but that's okay. It's got character. And then after Megan Diaz set, they went to the merch area and was meeting fans for free and like signing stuff. And so I got them to sign it. So yeah, and they thought it was cool that I had it. My next set list is IDK How again. This is my last IDK How set list, but not the last one that I got. The next time I saw them after this show, I went with my best friend because her birthday was a few days before it. And so I got her a ticket so we could go. And I wanted to get the set list for her so she could have it, you know, have a set list. And especially from her first Adiki House show and the one that was around her birthday. So I would have another, but I gave it to her. And um, that show actually, when, cause this show they didn't come out, that's why it's not signed. They didn't come out after, which sucked but that's okay uh but the other one they did come out it was very rushed and hectic so we couldn't get them to sign it but we did get pictures with them and ryan actually said that he remembered me and i was like what you remember me i was so sure that he didn't like recognize me even like just the three shows that were really close together he just never let on that he remembered me but then he said he did like four months after the last time i met him and i was very caught off guard because I was not expecting that and I was like, I didn't think he remembered me. Uh, I just figured you had like a bad memory or something. And he said, yeah, I usually do. And I was like, oh my God, thank you, Ryan. <laughs> you remembered me even though you have a bad memory. I appreciate you, thank you. Uh, and I was really hoping that I would meet them again um, more recently or like more after that. Cause that was uh, almost a year ago now, that was in August. But um, can't really have shows right now. And I would have seen them at the end of 2019, like in December. I had a ticket and everything, but then I got sick. And I didn't want to like make them sick or make people at the concert sick. You know, I didn't want to give anyone my like cold or flu or whatever it was. So I stayed home and wasted my ticket. I asked my friend that I went to with the other show if she wanted to have the ticket to go but she, it was very last minute and she wasn't able to. So I'm sad that I wasted a ticket, but that's all right. You know, stuff happens, life happens, you get sick, you can't do stuff, it's fine. So my next one is Papa Roach. Uh, technically this was printed out. Like there was one set list left and one of the security guys, he was like, you know what? I'll be right back. And he went and he got it printed out and he had a few of them printed out to give to people. So it's not like it, it was off the stage or anything like that, but you know, it's still cool. It's big, bro. This thing is long, but um, it's still from the show, you know? I got it at the show, even if it wasn't off the stage. And I did get this off the stage because someone, <laughs> this guy like took the piece of paper and he's just like, he was like, do you want this? And I was like, sure. And so I just keep them together because it's from the same show. And this one is off the stage, so, you know. Um, I like had it like this on my wall because the wall behind me, all of this, that was where my set lists were. But obviously I took them off for this video to show. But also after I took them off and I like put some like small stuff here and there that I've like got that's music related or concert related. I actually kind of really like that. Like it looks really nice like that. So I'm kind of tempted to put my set list in like a binder or something to keep them protected that way. And I can like flip through, but also the big ones, I don't know how that would fit because binders are usually like 
typical paper size. And when they're like this long, like how is that gonna fit? I don't wanna just fold them in half, you know? I don't know, stuff to decide. It's fine. <laughs> so my next one is Fall Out Boy. This was at the Hello Mega Tour secret show that I have uploaded on my channel, actually. I got their set list, their guitar pick, and their drumstick. That was amazing. They're my favorite band, so it was like the best show ever. Like, definitely my favorite concert of all time. Especially like Green Day was really good and Weezer was good too. I had seen Weezer before in the past at like a music festival, so I wasn't like, oh my god, I need to see Weezer, but I'd never seen Green Day before. So that was a whole thing. Uh, it was a lot though. Like, the side I was on, I was on Joe's side. So I was like, I was on the left side. And, you know, during Fall Out Boy sets, Pete's side was apparently super bonkers and crazy. And like this girl that I'd been talking to before the show started, she was saying that like we met like in the bathroom afterwards and she was like, yo, like I wanted to see Fall Out Boy, but Fall Out Boy's fans were crazy. Like it was intense in the crowd. And I was like, literally no one was touching me at all. Like I guess most of Green Day fans were on my side. So like I didn't have anyone shoving into me. I didn't have anyone hitting me, pushing me, or anything when Fall Out Boy was on, like, I was the only one jamming out on my side. So I had a great experience on Fall Out Boy's set, but Green Day's set? Whew, everyone was shoving into me. I was being pressed into the stage because there was no barricade, and it was very uncomfortable, and I was not having a good time. I couldn't move around. Like, it was great to see Green Day, but, like, if you watch my video that I posted you see during the Fall Out Boy set like I'm moving around a lot there's a lot of shaking but on Green Day set like there's not much movement that's because I could not move all right I was pressed <laughs> it was hard that's all right it was still great to see them even though the crowd was insane uh and I got Fall Out Boy set list so you know those are my first Fall Out Boy set list uh my next one is my last Fall Out Boy set list um this was uh, during their, like, iHeartRadio private show, which I also have posted now. I just posted it, uh, like, a, I think yesterday? Maybe the day before? I don't know. But I actually almost didn't get the set list. Like, a lot of the stage guys were like, oh my god, no, we can't do it. We can't, can't happen, whatever. But I kept, like, pressing and asking different people as they passed. And one guy actually, like, like, I caught his attention and he didn't ignore me. And he grabbed it for me and handed it to me. Thank you, thank you, sir. And uh, so yeah, I have two Fall Out Boy set lists. The only two shows I've seen them in that are small venues because every other time I've seen Fall Out Boy, it's been in an arena for um, Mania Tour. My first concert ever was 2017. So I haven't had a whole lot of like concert experiences for like bigger bands that were smaller or like a lot of small stuff like this where you have to win tickets like this is my first time ever winning a ticket to anything that's concert related so you know I I got really lucky <laughs> being able to go to this show and getting the set list and stuff it was great so this one is Simple Creatures it was actually the day after uh the Fall Out Boy show and I tried like I was trying to not jump around too much and move around too much during the Fall Out Boy show because I knew my legs were gonna hurt and then having another standing only show the day after I was like my legs are gonna be dead but actually it wasn't too bad and I did still move around a lot like if you see the videos there's a lot of shaking with this show I um I had been trying to get the set list I had been like asking I'd mentioned it to the people around me I was like I want the set list so bad and um this guy came from behind the stage after the show and like the set list on stage were taken uh he came up to me and he was like hey I heard you were wanting a set list and he handed this to me and I dropped I was like oh my god like I was just like I thought I wasn't gonna get a set list and I was like really pumped to get one and I actually got one and so I just like melted kind of I was like thank you so much I appreciate you so much <laughs> like whoever you are man thank you you are great I appreciate you so much uh so yeah that's how I got the set list this show is also so good this is my second time seeing them because my first time i saw them was their first ever concert like back in march 2019 and this show was the like 
only they only did two shows for their second album i'm pretty sure and this is one of them i definitely recommend checking out simple creatures honestly i recommend checking out any of the bands i've mentioned right now if you haven't before or like any that you can see behind me anything that you see that's band related just check them out they're all really good and listening to music is good too <laughs> uh so my next one is ali and aj this is my second time seeing them and i actually got the set list this time when the person that uh had the set list was coming to my area to like toss it off the stage i like hoisted myself onto the uh the barricade <laughs> and like slammed onto the barricade basically to give myself extra height to grab it and I didn't really need that much extra height because I'm like 5'10 but you know just in case you know I gave myself extra height to be able to grab this because I wanted it so bad and I got it uh but I also had like a line bruise on my stomach so that wasn't great uh it was a little uncomfortable but it was worth it you know the pain, the pain is worth it for shows, you know? The next one is Water Parks again. Uh, this was one of two shows that I went to during the fandom tour. And I think I might have done something similar to the Ali and AJ show. I didn't quite like slam onto the barricade or anything, but I was really trying, you know? I really wanted the set list. And I tried to wait after to like meet them and stuff, but it was a really weird area. Like the venue was like in some mall thing i don't know but i didn't know where to go so i couldn't really do that but you know i had a show the next day so it wasn't a huge deal uh but this show was intense like there were a lot of people it was a big crowd like the biggest water parks crowd i've like water parks headlining crowd that i've been in and i was at barricade and i was like shoved into the barricade like the whole time i couldn't really jump around or anything and i, I want to jump you know when a song is good and i love the song i just want to jump and i want to be hyped but I couldn't. The next one is also Water Parks. And it was the show the next day. And this show, oh my god. This show was so good. Like, I got the VIP, first of all. That was amazing. Um, I wouldn't have even got it, but this one girl was, she had an extra ticket. And she wanted to sell it. And I was like, ooh, I mean, why not, you know? So, I got VIP because of that. And I also gave Otto... A piggyback ride because they have this whole video that they show they're like we can't give you piggyback rides during the photo ops and blah 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 because you know we got to go on stage and like I totally get it totally fine you know you don't want to get injured before you're gonna perform especially when you're on tour like <laughs> you don't want to be injured all tour but um, when I went up to them I was like hey so like you can't give me a piggyback ride which I wouldn't have asked for anyway I'm taller than all of them but uh <laughs> you can't give me a piggyback ride so like what if I give you a piggyback ride and I was wearing my auto t-shirt for that tour and they were like yeah yeah sure <laughs> and so uh it was great also uh Jeff like boosted him up onto my back which is so funny to me like I had the I had a girl that I've seen at different water park shows I had her like record me going up to them and you can see him like pick him up and like lift him onto me <laughs> so funny to me but yeah that was great and after the show uh or during the show actually I there was no barricade or anything so I was right at the stage that's how I was able to get this because it was right in line with me because I was right in front of Jeff so it was Jeff's set list and I was able to just like grab it off the stage after but uh after the show when i was waiting for them behind the venue um otto and jeff came out austin came out too but he didn't come out to talk to people like he just passed us he had somewhere to be other than us i guess <laughs> um but i got those two to sign it so you know i got them to sign it it works out i'm really sad you can see right here worst was cut out of the set for the show and the, the day before they did worst so that was the worst sorry i i apologize i'm a mess but whatever it was great i like that's in my top five favorite concerts of all time that concert was so good like how intimate it was the small venue uh the opening act kitten she came up to me and she was like like when they were performing she walked up to me and was like, hey, can I go on your shoulders? And so she went on my shoulders during one of their songs. So that was incredible. I've never had that before. <laughs> and obviously, you know, I said yes. Like, who would say no to that? But um, that was really cool. And 
talking to Otto and Jeff after the show, they were really chill. And we just, like, all, like, had conversations with them for, like, 30 minutes until they had to go. So that was really cool. They're a really cool band. So now my last set list was, uh, I, I actually got it in February. February. 18th I don't know sometime mid-February it was falling in reverse their tour uh the drug in me is gold because the drug in me is you went gold so you know <laughs> the title but um they performed the entirety of the drug in me is you technically backwards like if you look you know it starts with the last song. Well, actually, technically it would have started with Reimagine. Pretend that doesn't exist because they didn't do that. I think because Ronnie was losing his voice, I think he probably couldn't do like a slow voice that like, dem or slow song that demanded a lot of voice, you know? So Reimagine didn't happen. It started off with the last song of the album and ended with the first song of the album. It, he went backwards and he was like, That was the drug in me, is you, in reverse, motherfuckers. Thank you guys very much. I was like okay <laughs> I love that but also okay I was really excited about this show though because that's my favorite album of theirs and I've always wanted to hear most of these songs live and when that when that tour was announced I was like oh shit I gotta go to that that's gotta happen but uh this show I really wanted the set list because one you know my favorite album of theirs and two I didn't I haven't had a set list of theirs before and I got it and that was really exciting and I'm really happy about it <laughs> it's really cool it's probably like one of my favorite set lists just because like it's the entirety of an album like the only other time i've i've gone to an album tour that's like an older album that they're touring for was some 41 for um does this look infected which is also my favorite album of theirs like i'm just getting lucky sometimes where bands are touring on my favorite album of theirs uh, i really wish the follow boy would tour for folia do because they have said themselves that they won't do anniversary tours but i really wish they would i want to hear more than just two songs from this album like the only songs i've heard live from that album are disloyal order and i don't care and i want more you know i just i want more please i really want to hear more of those songs like i listen to that album so much like i literally have a folia tattoo on my leg. I love it. It's my favorite. My favorite album of all time. Uh, but anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, <laughs> those are all my set lists. All right, well, I hate outros, so bye.